If you look at Backbone website, here under examples, you can see some examples of websites that have been built with Backbone. Let's take a look at Document Cloud. So I'm going to open up the developer tools in Chrome here. Look at the network tab. When I click here, see what happens. We have an HTTP GET request sent to the server. Let's take a look. Here are two objects that are returned. That represents a backbone model. Now here, it's more accurate to say that this is just a plain JavaScript object, but then it will be mapped to a backbone model. The model will be passed to a view, which will be responsible for presenting that. So the view will be in charge of displaying this bit here. So we have two models here, and obviously we have two items here on the screen. So each view is responsible for rendering the model, as well as responding to any events raised by the DOM. So in this case, if I click somewhere here, let's say here, the view is listening to the click event of this link here and does some action accordingly. So in this case, it's presenting some more items here. So the basic structure of Backbone applications is that on the server, you have a RESTful API, like what you see here, that returns a collection of models. Then these models or collections are passed to views, which will render them and respond to any events raised by the DOM or the model or the collection. That's the basic idea. Now, if all that sounds too complicated, don't worry. We'll start very simple with backbone models in the next section, and then you gradually get familiar with all of these components.